Hello YouTube, this is Rigoli from That's the Never, and welcome to a tiny little tutorial here. This is more more of a fix fixorial. I I don't know what to call it, uh, but basically, while we were creating this part of the machine, there are actually some very tiny key parts that I left out, and that's what this video is for, so we can get that fixed for the next tutorial where we're going to be building this printing part that's going to be over there somewhere. Okay, so first of all, down here, we, before, and with the other tutorials, use some time to create a little line here, which would have a delay, and then turn, go into here, you can see there's still a little part left. Uh, that, we don't want anymore. That was not good, because when I tried to test it out, go through some cycles, what I found out was that, for some reason, it cycled improperly, so... When that went in and get got that to go back up again, there was a signal that came from here and moved it directly to the next one, so it skipped the whole first bit, or the whole first part of some layer. So, therefore, we're going to remove that. And also, because of this error, uh, this last one here, this one actually pops up again when the entire thing is done printing. It's not going to start printing again, since all of that over there is going to be off, but that's still going to pop up. A little tiny thing might try and get that fixed as well. Second, uh, I move these a tiny bit and I place some repeaters here. Just move these signal things a little bit to the side. And then we get to here. Between all of the towers, like between the tower groups, we have this glass here separating these three towers from these three towers. Between each tower group, where there's some glass, there's glass pane, you want to have two full repeaters, right? Two entirely full repeaters. This is important. If we don't have these here, this thing, these here are not going to be able to reset in time from when one signal is done going through till the next one comes through. So we need those delays. That's also why I have these here. And second, one thing that's probably going to take a little while for you guys, depending on how many repeaters you have and how you place your repeaters down here at the bottom, is we're going to have to try and, the best way possible, synchronize this one with that one and that one. So all three here at the bottom fire at the exact same time. I mean, this line here, if they're all on, this line, all these turn on at the same time. Same thing for this, these three here and these three here. So the way we're going to do that is, if we look down here, you can see this one, from the first one, go, just goes straight in. So there's actually no delays here. From when we activate that, boom, it goes in. When we look at this one, we activate, and boom, it goes in. These two here don't count. So with no delays there. But if we go to the last one, it goes here and actually has one single tick. So this one, this line here, is going to turn on one Minecraft tick after these two. And that we would like to eliminate. So in, if we can't just place more repeaters down here on this line, because then we're going to mess up stuff from the others, from the other parts. We want to have the same amount of repeaters everywhere on this line. That's important. So we can't change that up. We, we could put one here, but that could also mess off some stuff with this yellow one. So we don't want to do that either. But what we can do is we can change the uh, delay for the stuff that's going into the end gate itself. So we have three repeaters here, and since we know that this one is the slowest by one tick... Oh, let me get back up here again. We're going... God dang. We're going to add one tick to this repeater and this repeater right here. By adding those ticks, we make sure that... Oh, yeah, actually, I forgot that. This thing here, it doesn't just go through one repeater. It actually goes through two. You can see there's a line here and there's a line there. So, there are actually two delays, two tick delays on this one. That's why we want to add two delays. So this is normal. Then we want to add two more. Just right-click two times. Same thing with this one. This is how it's going to look, so we're going to have two here. 
But again, this depends on how your creation looks. You need to go into your creation. I'm going to go over to this side. And you will ignore these here. When they get to this point, they should all be at the exact same timing. So ignore these here. Like, this is your starting point. From here on out, they should be the exact same timing. So you look from here, first one. This one comes down straight in. So no delays there. We go to the next one. Goes down. Follow along, follow along. It has one delay before we get to these two repeaters. So one delay on that one. That already means that we have to at least add one delay to this thing here. So we add one delay to compensate for this one. Now for the last, we can see that this one goes through not one, but two repeaters. So that means we're going to have to add one delay here. So this is too slower to compensate for those two repeaters. If we look at this one, like these two compared, like this one here and this one here, or that one and that one, we're going to see that this here has one less repeater than this one. This one only goes through one repeater before it gets over there. This one goes through two. So we're going to have to add two de one delay here. No, wait, here. We're going to have to add one delay here to compensate for this thing, this one here being... Uh, God damn it. For this one here being faster than this one here. So add one delay there. And since this one's the slowest and weak, Compensate on these. We don't have to change that. So now let's go over here and try and do one of the higher ones because this is this is a little important too. So we're going to f make all of these fire at the same time. So we're going to start by following this line. This is starting point. So now there's zero delay. Each torch adds one tick delay. So now we have one tick delay, two ticks, three, four four delays. You can see when it gets to here, it just goes down, and then there's no more delay. So four tick delay on this one before it gets from here to there. Now we go over here. This one has one, two, three, four, and then goes straight in. So four delays or ticks on this one. That one up there. Now let's do the last one. One, two, three, four ticks. We're going to follow this line. Five, six. And then he goes straight in. So it has six delays on this one. That means that this one is going to fire two ticks slower or after these two. So to compensate for that, we're going to add two delays. Let me get back up here. To these. They're going to look somewhat like this. We're going to add two delays to that and two delays to that. But again, it varies depending on how your creation looks. You might Your creation might look like this. Okay, then we have some extra. So what that means is that we're going to have to one extra delay up here. These two still go through the same thing. They they're have the same delay, but this one over here just suddenly got an extra. So it depends on how your creation looks, how many repeaters you have. You're just going to have to count up and change the delays accordingly. And remember, you change the delays on the repeaters that are up here on these parts. Same thing for all of them. And one last change is that I added a full repeater delay over here. So that's a little mini update to hopefully get your creation fixed. So what you need to do now before you move on to the next tutorial, which is hopefully going to come out not in not too long, is you need to test that your machine can cycle nine times and also that the things are very 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 similar in when they fire so you're just going to have to start your creation look see if it goes through all of the different memory you just load up so everything's turned on maybe you do some kind of coding system I don't know but you're just gonna have to count that in the end you had nine pieces of information going through this line here and you need I would recommend that you just turn everything every single part of the memory is going to have something saved so that way you can test that all of them fire at the same time so that's what you're gonna have to fix in order to get the creation to work so thanks for watching and stay tuned take care